You've probably heard someone say that a study shows no difference between two training methods, so they're basically the same. Here's why that might be misleading you. When a study claims that there's no significant difference, that does not necessarily mean that the two conditions produce equivalent outcomes. Most studies in exercise science have small sample sizes with really, really wide uncertainty intervals on their estimates. This creates what we call the equivalence fallacy, confusing ambiguous results with proof of sameness. Here's what's actually happening. Those wide uncertainty intervals often extend far on both sides of zero. This means true differences are compatible with both the interpretation that A is greater than B and B is greater than A. The study is simply too underpowered to tell us which. It's ambiguous and not conclusive. Before you assume that two approaches are the same based on one study, check if the precision of the results is high enough to suggest they're truly equivalent with a sufficient margin, because most aren't. This is exactly why meta-analyses in our field are so valuable. They combine multiple studies to give us clarity that individual studies lack. Hopefully this helps you to stop falling for the equivalence fallacy and be sure to follow along for more training insights without the hype.